Hey guys, and welcome back to War Thunder. It's Krebsy here in today's video. Well, it's Friday, firstly. But what we're going to be doing in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys something. And I know that's probably the last thing you want to do on a Friday. Watch a video of something, like a lesson. What you want it to happen on a Friday, you want explosions, you want guts, you want boobies and women. I know what you guys want. But instead, I'm going to be teaching you guys a lesson on angling. Because in War Thunder, survivability definitely improves with angling. And I thought what would be a really good example is to use a mouse. A vehicle that a lot of people probably don't even own. <laughs> but it will definitely demonstrate the importance of angling. And I think it's a, a very good candidate to, to, to do so. Because in the mouse, you die very, very fast if you don't angle. If you just face the enemy straight on, chances are this is what's going to happen. They're going to shoot you in the front of the turret just on the more sort of flat portions, uh, not the angled portion. And that's usually how you die in this vehicle. It's because they shoot you straight into the front of the turret. But your survivability can go up drastically by simply doing a little bit of angling. Now, I thought we would go into arcade to uh, demonstrate this because arcade's just more fast-paced and so we can get more enemies shooting at us and blah, blah, blah. So definitely better for demonstrations. Let me switch on over to my primary cannon. I don't want to use my secondary cannon. I'm not a big fan of it. Just use my primary shells mostly. Now, this applies to vehicles that are like normal ones. I'm not talking about extreme vehicles like the freaking T10M, which is just ridiculous. 400 millimeters of penetration there. Uh, that pretty much negates any kind of angling that you have. So this is, this is to do with things like T54s and just anything else that is normal. Um, even enemy mouses can be fine to take on, as long as you angle yourself appropriately. Okay, what we gotta do is aim straight into... Wow! Lucky bastard. What we gotta do is aim straight on into the uh, front of the T-54's turret. We gotta be careful here, so we, we don't, don't get flanked. We're gonna just face this direction as soon as we're reloaded, and this is the idea. You point your gun at the enemy, you take your shot, and then as soon as they're going to take their shot, you angle yourself. At least your turret. Your turret's the most important thing. That M60's got a fire. I think you might want to handle that, sir. Fire's not good. Not good at all. Alright, let's just roll on up. Oop, looks like somebody died there. And we've got a lot of guys on the other side of the river. That's actually a good thing. Gives me a lot of confidence. Okay, so let's hope we're not going to see any T10Ms. In fact, I don't see any T10Ms on the enemy team, so I think we should be good here. Alright. Enemy mouse right there. Let's angle ourselves and just get ready. Hopefully he's going to come out. Oh, T54. Come on, come on out. Come on out. Do it. The thing is, he's got to aim very specifically in order to try and kill me. He's got to be very specific of where he shoots me. And there's that M47. I mean, we should be good to balance. Okay, here's a uh, mouse. Mousey. Woo! <laughs> See? You just shoot them straight into the turret, the front. And it does so much damage to them. That's what you get for not angling. Now that tank is not going to be fun to play for him. Oh no. Oh no, he's lost a lot of guys. That's going to be not a fun tank to play whatsoever. We're just going to back off a little bit. I don't want him to get a side shot into me. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to try to bounce his shell. We're going to go in an extreme sort of flank here. Or extreme angling. Do it. See? We bounced. And somebody else killed him. That's the idea. You bounce the shells. That is how you survive. Devastation. Oh! Hello, Yag Tiger. God damn it. <laughs> I wish I had my tank shell right now. Okay, now we're gonna bounce this Yag Tiger. See, he did absolutely nothing. He didn't shoot me even in the right place. We're just gonna shoot him straight into there. Woo! Turkey shoot season! Okay, and this game is probably gonna end up being a bad one, because <laughs> we're not getting a lot of kills here. Uh. But that's not the point. It's to teach you guys angling and how important it actually is. Oh, fuck. That guy fucked up. So what we gotta do... Oh my god! Hold up. 
Fuck! That was supposed to screw him up! <laughs> it's a freaking T95, I think it was. Uh, I have to I have to shoot him in the cupola and for success. Alright, so now we have a mouse just in front of us here. Woo! Get wrecked, mate. And that's exactly how you don't play the mouse. <laughs> I just jumped out! <laughs> I'm sorry. I found that really funny because I can understand the frustration of the mouse driver. A mouse that has been shot through the front like that is just not fun to play anymore. The reload speeds become like a minute long. Uh, yeah, it's just not fun. <laughs> That's hilarious. But well, a thing that I want to get through to you guys is that you can't do this in every single vehicle. I, I just went for the mouse because it's such a prime example of how angling is important. I mean, it really depends also on what vehicles you go out with, because some vehicles have uh, less side armor, some vehicles have more side armor. We're going to shoot him into the top of that cupola there. Fuck my life! Alright, now let's rotate. And let's uh, bounce shells. See? Boom. That's how you bounce shells. We're not reloaded, so we don't have to do anything just yet here. Alright, so hopefully we can do something now. Woo! T95! Get wrecked, bro! That's... Oh my god, and we came first place as well. How did we do it? How did we do it? It's because we bounce shells like a pro. Boom! That's how you angle, guys. That's how you angle. So if you're wondering exactly what the armor values are like on the mouse, this will give you an idea. So, uh, you know, in a lot of vehicles, you'd be kind of scared to uh, show your side armor even angled towards the enemies. But the thing with the mouse is that it has pretty much 200 millimeters of armor, like, all the way around. So if I show them my side, like, say if this is how I angle to the, towards the enemy, I've got about, see, look at that, flat portion, about 223 millimeters of armor. If I angle it, goes to goes all the way from 265, even angled some more, about 300. And the side armor, check that out, 386, 300. So yeah, that's why I wanted to show you guys the mouse, Prime Contender. It has pretty much the same values of armor all the way around. So if you angle yourself, you become like almost an impenetrable box, unless a T10M shoots you with 400 millimeters of armor penetration. Then you still might have problems, but most other vehicles, yeah, you can do something, that's for sure. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that and hope you found that a little bit infor uh, informative. Hopefully, you're going to be able to apply that to your games. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next one, this is Krebsy, and I'll catch you guys later. Yeah.